Hey everyone, it's Allison here with New Little Life. I just happen to be holding my new little life here. We are on day seven of life over here and the seventh day of our breastfeeding journey. So I wanted to look back and kind of tell you what you can expect in the first week of breastfeeding. Now there is so much that changes every single day in the first week of breastfeeding. So I've done individual videos on each day for you. And in this video, I'm gonna kind of give you an overview of the days real quick so you know what to expect and kind of just my experience and other moms that I see. So you kind of just have an idea what to expect in that first week. Okay, so day one. Now, day one looks different depending on where you gave birth. So this is my third little baby. My first two, I had hospital births, which I actually had really great experiences with and I enjoyed that. As a nurse, I feel very comfortable in the hospital and I advocated for myself. I had great providers. Um, I switched around a little bit till I found some that jived with what I wanted and I had great experiences. So this third one, we are here in Belgium and we decided to do a home birth uh, for various reasons. I'll probably make another video on why I chose a home birth after two wonderful hospital births. And I'll put that link in the description for you when it's finished. But day one looked very different in a hospital versus at home. So day one of breastfeeding is really just a learning day. So hopefully you're able to do some skin to skin for that first hour after birth. Again, that depends on what kind of birth you have, vaginal birth versus cesarean had any complications, if your baby went to the NICU, there's a lot of variety there. But kind of the norm is that the baby goes skin to skin, hopefully finds that first latch all by themselves sometime in the first hour. So that's great. The If you're in the hospital, the nurses can help you kind of facilitate that, but the baby can also just do it on their own and you can let them navigate that. So that's kind of a fun thing to do. You're not going to have like copious amounts of milk on that first day. So if you're expecting just like the milk work factory to be going, that's not quite right. So your breasts are still gonna be soft. You will be making colostrum, which is a goldish color, and it does come in small quantities. So you're not gonna be having a lot, but you are gonna be making enough for what your baby needs. That first day, the baby's stomach is only about the size of a cherry. Got my little cherry here. Okay, so it is not very big at all. Just about a tablespoon maybe is all it can hold. So the little amount of colostrum that you're making is likely enough. That's also a very easy amount to digest really quickly. So your baby's gonna be eating a lot and that's also very normal. The first 24 hours is the time to really focus on getting a good latch. Teaching the baby how to latch and also you learning how to facilitate the baby in this first 24 hours is gonna make a big difference on the rest of your breastfeeding relationship. So take your time, don't tolerate crappy latches. <laughs> if your baby's latched on and it's not right, stick a finger in to break the section and start again. It's, it's a learning curve for both you and baby. If you're still pregnant while you're watching this video, I do have a online breastfeeding course available. It's self-paced, you can do it at home, and it will give you a great foundation for starting out breastfeeding. I highly recommend you take a class at your hospital or do an online one like I've got for you, just to give you a good foundation so you kind of know what to expect, how to start it off right, just answer the basic questions, and then go from there. Everyone's experience is different, so you're, you'll are you have to learn and adapt, but the basic information is the same. So I'll put a link down below in the description for you on that. I highly recommend some kind of course or class just to give you the basic information. All right, day two of breastfeeding is a fun day as well. Your milk hasn't transitioned yet, so the baby's gonna be eating a lot. Again, lots of colostrum available. And this day we see more of focus on the maternal healing. So that day one, you're kind of just like riding the high, new baby, figuring stuff out. Day two is kind of when, you know, the sore muscles kick in and the realization like, okay, this baby's eating a lot. My nipples are starting to get a little tender. Shouldn't be in a lot of pain, pain, pain while you're breastfeeding. So if that's the case, something's not quite right. But it does kind of feel like a sunburn, just kind of raw, you know, something sucking on your nipples a lot. It takes a minute to get used to it. So a little bit of soreness is, is expected and, and okay. But if it's hurting, you need to find some help. Your baby's probably eating a lot every <laughs> couple of hours. They really shouldn't go more than three to four hours. Your pediatrician can give you a firm guideline on that based on their weight and 
your history and things like that. But they're going to be eating a lot. And that's very, very normal. Take care of yourself on day two. Hold that thought. The other little babe needs a wipe. Be right back. Okay. Whew. Life with three kids is no joke, people. <laughs> and now the baby's hungry too. Okay. Okay. Got the little one wiped. Baby's eating. We can keep going. What was I saying? Anyway, day two. Take care of yourself. Make sure you're healing and just keep latching that baby on. Okay, breastfeeding on day three. This is often the hardest day for moms. And this is when I see them struggling the most, posting on Facebook, asking for help. Um, and it's there's a lot of things into play here. If you had your baby in the hospital, this is probably one of your first days home. So that can be a little bit challenging to navigate. Your hormones are also going a little bit crazy at this point, and the baby blues is a real thing. You could be crying for no reason, um, just kind of be up and down moody, especially if that's not normal for you. That can be a little jarring. Again, it's just hormones. It's very normal. Hang in there. Your milk is probably just starting to transition on this day, so it's still not in in high quantities, but your baby's probably hungry. So by day three, their stomach size has about doubled. So on the first day, it was about the size of a cherry here. And the next day, it's about the size of a walnut. So you can see that there's a little bit of a difference there. You probably do have more milk quantity in than you did on the first day. Um, but hungry, you probably have a hungry baby. You know what I mean? So be patient. Latch the baby a lot. This is often the hardest day. So just keep that in mind that you're not going crazy and you're not alone. Day two, three was probably the hardest for me too this week. Again, just waiting for that milk. I know he's hungry. It can be really tempting to top up the baby with formula. And if you're really committed to breastfeeding and there's no other problems, like your doctor hasn't told you to do that or anything, I would really try and steer clear of that if you can. Just be patient. Latch them a lot. The more you latch them and they eat, the quicker your milk's going to come in. So hang in there on day three. It gets better. In the more in-depth day three video, we also talked about some products for sore nipples. So if you are still feeling sore on day three, you can go check out that video for some tips and tricks there. Okay, and then day four, hopefully your milk has really started to transition and you're feeling a little bit fuller. Um, in the in-depth day four video, we talked about engorgement. So if you want to know all about engorgement, tips for dealing with that, um, what I kind of have done this week, they'll all be in that other video. The best thing you can do for engorgement is just to feed your baby. So feed, feed, feed. Try not to bust out the pump. I know it can be tempting because you're like, there's so much milk in there. It's not only milk, it's also some swelling. So be careful the signals that you send your body. The more you empty the milk, the more milk you're going to make. So you kind of just want to manage it on a comfort level and have the least amount of stimulation as possible to survive the day other than your baby. You can't feed your baby too much. You can feed them too little, but feed, 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 use them as your main source of engorgement comfort. And again, some other tips will be in the, in that day four video. What to expect on day five. Hopefully by day five, you're kind of finding a groove, probably still dealing with some engorgement, which is normal, but I hope that by then you're finding you're kind of getting to know your baby, some of their hunger cues, kind of getting in, I don't want to say routine because that doesn't really exist with like a newborn, but maybe starting to notice some of their patterns and just kind of getting to know your baby a little bit more. By day five, hopefully you're, you're learning a little bit about each other. If you're having a lot of pain breastfeeding at this point, you need to contact a lactation consultant because just that raw kind of tenderness that comes with the beginning, um, might still be hanging around, but if you're having some pain or issues with the latch, please get it fixed earlier than later. It's so much harder to deal with when you're cracked and bleeding and exhausted and you just like waited till the last second to get help. That's really a lot harder to deal with than if you catch things in the beginning. So definitely don't be afraid to reach out to your local lactation consultants, your OB, the pediatrician, anyone that can help you with your breastfeeding journey if you're struggling, don't wait, okay? It's important. Probably leaking milk quite a bit at this point, and I've got a whole separate video on how to deal with leaking milk. 
and I'll put that in the description for you. But day five is, is not a bad day. Um, by then we were starting to feel, feel pretty good about things. And then day six and today's day seven have been better. We've gotten into a nice groove at night. Um, this little guy is eating around the clock, but he is giving me about a four hour stretch at night, which is awesome. He is starting to gain a little bit of weight back now that my milk is in, so that's good. Babies usually lose some weight right at the beginning, but then they should be gaining it back. So we have a couple of unique breastfeeding struggles of our own. So please don't think that this has been an easy week for me, even as a nurse and lactation counselor and third time mom. Um, we've still had quite a few struggles and just things that are frustrating to me and I should know better, but you know, it just, it's not easy even for those trained in it. So just keep that in mind. I'm right there with you. I'm, I'm feeling it too, but today we're starting to get into a good groove on day seven. So I'm going to try and film more on the actual days. Cause I think that will be fun to really connect with you guys while I'm going through this myself. Um, the first week has just been crazy though. And our birth weekend was quite eventful, <laughs> not just with the birth of our baby, but also, a uh, emergency surgery for our little six-year-old. So I'll probably be posting a, a video on our birth weekend story here soon. But oh, anyway, the first week you can make it through and it won't be like this forever. I think that's the one thing that somebody told me early on that really stuck with me is that when you're frustrated or you're up in the middle of the night or you're in pain or you're just, you're crying or you can't figure out your baby, just remember that it won't be like this forever. I promise. The first week, the first few weeks are some of the trickiest in breastfeeding. And if you can make it through those, then you're going to be one of those moms that you see just breastfeeding while they're cooking or they're out at the park and their baby's latched and then they're still just chatting. That will be you one day, but it's not going to be in the first week. So be patient with yourself. Spend some time bonding with your little baby and just take things as they come. Again, if you want to see all those in-depth videos on kind of what to expect each day, um, you can go back and check those out. I'll put a link to a playlist for you though, so you can find them. Leave me some comments and tell me what your biggest concerns are for the first week or some things that you experienced. I'd love to know. You can keep in touch with me on Instagram, Facebook, and support the channel on Patreon if you're able. So don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you again next time. Happy breastfeeding.